I would like to invite the last speaker for the conference. Mr. Park Jong-woo will make presentation about NFT, technological challenges of music copyright industry. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Park Jong-woo from Little Song Music. This is the last presentation. Please have an eye contact with me and show me your smile. I am the last speaker, and sometimes I wish I had more time to make presentation, but much of my presentation was already presented by the previous speaker. This is uh, true, so I'm going to make my presentation brief. My presentation is about technical challenges of music copyright industry. This is not music industry, but music copyright industry. There are copyright technology issues in music copyright industry. This first appeared when World Wide Web appeared. Now, streaming websites have firmly positioned themselves in the market, and NFT and Metaverse are likely to experience similar problems the WWW experienced before. This is not just the copyright issue of content, but this is the issue of the overall music copyright industry. There are several reasons for that. Music copyrights are one of the most complicated copyrights, and they have much diversity. It's difficult to deal with music copyrights. It takes a lot of time and money as well. That's why many people are not willing to study music copyrights because there are so many complicated elements uh, involved here. So through the presentation, I would like to say, uh, talk about what we need and what we need to prepare in the future so that we can adopt NFT in the music copyright industry. What is NFT? This was already mentioned maybe 10 times by the previous speakers. On this slide, I want to emphasize that ownership and reliability of your asset can be proved with NFT. What do musicians need the most? They want to ensure their ownership over the music work because some people may have the right to personality. Some people might have sold or transferred or bor borrowed um, their uh, copyright. So there are many types of ownerships, and it's not easy to identify who has the ownership. We have many associations, including Music Copyright Association. If you search for the data, you can see a lot of data outcome, but they do not represent all the music content in the world. There are millions, hundreds of millions of music content in the world. Can we identify each of the hundreds of millions of music in the relevant copyrights and copyright holders? No, we cannot. And we cannot say that all the relevant data across the world is being shared. What do artists want? They want that the data related to their music uh, works will be uh, shared on a real-time basis. And stability is important because we need to ensure a correct and fair distribution and payment of uh, the royalty or the copyright fee. So NFT is a fresh new concept, and people engaging in music industry believe that NFT will play a very important role in the future music copyright industry. Let's have a look at the general NFT service. As explained by the previous speaker, the most important thing here is smart contract. Smart contract is a kind of contract, a kind of electronic contract based on blockchain. This is very important element. In the case of general NFT service, copyrighted content cannot be traded on the NFT. 
as you heard from other speakers, if you mint some NFT service, you have to clarify the ownership and copyright uh, of the content. You have to clarify whether you are just reading the content, whether you have ownership over the content. But that's for now not uh, being done on the NFT network. And it takes a long time to develop players. In order to do minting of NFT, we actually asked our supplier to mint our music content, but there is no player, so can't you just download it and listen to the music? That's the response from the supplier. So creating something that enables people to download and listen to the content on the NFT network is something very difficult to do. So it's very difficult to apply NFT to music copyrighted work. First of all, there is a limit in establishing a system where we collect and distribute royalty um, through broker agencies. If you entrust other associations or broker agencies, it means that there are something that artists do not know very well. If you entrust other broker agencies to collect the uh, royalty on behalf of the artist, it means that the broker agencies will collect and distribute royalty fees not only for the existing copyrighted work, but also for the future copyrighted work that the artist will create in the future then who should sell the content on the NFT? The broker agencies or entrusted bodies can sell the artwork or created work on the NFT. And if you want to have the ownership and sell such content, you have to receive the permission from the broker agencies or entrustment, entrusted company. That gives a lot of constraints. There are many intermediary service providers, and they have small size, and they have difficulties in providing technical support. And if you look at the intermediary service providers or broker agencies, when they mint content or sell content through NFT, they have to understand the structure of um, the copyright. For example, composers, are the member of the Music Copyright Composition Association. And in the case of sound recordings, it's very complicated. The process to upload the music content on the NFT is very much complicated because you have to receive the permission from the copyright owner. If a certain um, content is based on co-creation, and if multiple parties have copyrights over the uh, common works, then the things will become more complicated. Another problem is that the proof of the authentic uh, original copy does not constitute the pr proof of copyright. Let's say that you know a pop song, and there is a composer, the editor, and producer, and you will see uh, 40 types of rights owned by the multiple parties. Proof of original copy does not constitute the proof of copyright. It means that when someone buys a certain music content, you do not know which part of the content or which part of the copyright over the content was delivered or sold to the user. So the buyers of content may suffer losses and damages. And the NFT network might lose uh, trust from their users. There are other issues as well that make it difficult to adopt NFT in the music copyrighted works. If you look at the diagram, it shows music content uploaded on the NFT network, which takes up a very small portion because of these uh, issues.
But still, why is NFT needed to, to the music industry? Melon, Genie, there are, except for specific streaming service providers like Melon and Genie, the creators or authors are not directly connected to the users of such platform. Because specific uh, platforms are monopolizing uh, the market. They have monopoly over the relevant market. Artists are demanding that we need to establish a system that ensures a fair collection and distribution of royalty. They want to know why they receive a certain amount of royalty fee for specific months. And if we resell the content, the proceed will be delivered to the creator. Actually, the royalty will be delivered to the creator whenever such trade takes place. That will enhance the profit of the creator and contribute to the cultural development. And if you make a good use of NFT, you can transform the proof of original content to the proof of copyright. Only if you have proper uh, systems in place, then you can quickly prove the copyright over the created works. And most of the creators are making low income. And these days, in the sound recordings market, indie bands or other low-income creators' um, works are not being actively distributed to the market because distributors have to pay labor cost, and the labor cost is higher than the fee they receive by distributing the sound recordings of indie bands or low-income creators. Then where do the indie bands visit? They go to uh, the street of Hong, Hong University where they can uh, showcase their music. So low-income music creators like indie band can enter NFT platform because NFT platform has lower hurdle to uh, music creators. And we are approaching the era of metaverse. So in order to apply the innovative technologies to music copyright industry, we must consider using NFT for now. Simple minting, for example, there is simple downloading and uploading of music content in the platform. And there is another type of minting that includes copyright and payment of the copyright fee. So this is the uh, distribution of profit. And now there are several more methods under development. The integrated transaction of music copyright, it can be engaged by labels, private funds. Those private funds and labels can create a platform and the profit created through the platform can be distributed to the creators. And lastly, global copyright law could be connected to music NFT transaction. And the copyrights can be split in the transaction of music content. In order to realize this concept, we have several tasks to solve. First of all, we need clear standard or criteria about what we're going to sell. It means which right you're going to sell, which right is going to be sold through what kind of method. This needs to be clearly stipulated. So there are bundles of rights. So there should be clear regulation over which right we're going to sell. And since the pandemic, we think that the market should be reshaped. And 
the concept of the transfer of property rights need to be clearly defined. For now, in Korea, we don't have the right to resell and gain. Um, currently, in Korea, we don't have the system related to um, the reselling fee. And we have to carefully check whether the smart contract uh, constitutes uh, the transfer of property right. And regarding the proof of copyright, we need a mandatory publication system. In NFT or Metaverse, we need mandatory publication system regarding the proof of uh, copyright. And we need clear value assessment system. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for your presentation.